So what I'm going to do in this Illustrator CS6 tutorial is to create an image, a three-dimensional image, with a an image map over the top. So an image overlaid on top of a 3D object. And that object is going to be an American gold coin. I have these three stars displayed here. They are all stars. And the reason I'm displaying them is this third star here will be the edge of the coin. So it will be a corrugated edge with bumps all the way around. And the way I created this corrugated edge was to click on the star tool. And then all you need to do is to click once with the left button on the canvas. And then you select how many points of the star you would like. In this case it's 36. Click OK. And it creates a brand new star with 36 points on it. The other stars, this one here is just the default 5 point star. We don't need that. And that one is if I drew the star by clicking and dragging and then I held down control it changes the length of the points that's how I got these points to be very short so again we don't need these or this so the points are very short on this star by holding down control now that we've created this 36 point star shape the next thing I need to do is to create a new symbol you can see there's a symbol window here if it's not showing go to window symbols and I want to create it from the face of a gold coin in this case a US gold coin so I've got this image from the internet and I have opened it up in Illustrator I will now copy it as it's selected go back to our document edit and paste now what I want to do is make this into a symbol so all I need to do is drag it across to the symbol box give it a name I'll call it gold coin this coin will be laid over the top of our shape. I can delete that coin now. The symbol's still there. So the next thing we do with the shape selected, Effect 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Click on Preview so we can see what's happening. Then go to this window here, this round window, and just move it around until you've got a position you like. Can be a little bit fiddly. That's okay. Now the next thing to do is click on map art because we're going to map our coin onto the face of this shape. So click on map art, it brings you another dialog box up the top. Click on the drop down. See our gold coins in there now. Click on the gold coin and as you can see it comes up. Obviously it's too big at the moment so we shall reduce the size. So what you've got to do is click on the corners. Again it's quite a tricky, you have to drag it down first. Rotate it back to straight. Just use your eye really to try and get a, a result you want. Obviously we're trying to fit it nicely into this round shape that we've created. So I'm reasonably happy with that, so I'll click OK. And then OK again. As you can see we have an interesting looking piece of artwork that looks like a coin. The final thing I'm going to do on this coin now is to try and add some color to this black edge. So this object is one piece and I'm going to break it down into smaller pieces by clicking on object expand appearance and as you can see it creates all these separate edges. So I'll click off that. Now onto the direct selection tool, the white arrow. And we're going to select each one of these alternate edges here. So starting with this one, hold shift and click. Just continue that on these edges. Okay, I'm going to now click on the gradient tool. I'm going to create a gradient. So first I'll start with a black and white, and then I'm going to change the colors by double clicking. I want a yellow, so down to RGB from the right drop down here. And we'll click a dark yellow. Then double click on the other color, a slightly uh, lighter yellow this time. Now change the angle to 90 and that creates a nice gradient effect on one side of the corrugated edge. Now let's click off the object. I'm going to add a subtle gradient to the other edges now. Beginning with this, hold shift and click, alternate edges. I like this deep black as the alternate colour so I'm only going to put a subtle change in place. So that's all those edges selected now. I'll select the previous gradient first, double click, pick a, a much darker colour, double click.
click on the other yellow now I'll go to 90 degrees again and that looks quite good so I'll click off and as you can see there we've got a nice 3d effect on the edge of the coin as well 